What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome to my morning routine. What it is that I do every single day without fail that hopefully gets me started on the right foot. My radio alarm clock gently nudges me awake at exactly 7 hours since I placed my phone on the charger last night. And since I usually sleep at around midnight or 12.30, this tends to be around 7 to 7.30 a.m. The first thing I do is reach over for the bottle conveniently laying on my sofa and chug a whole bunch of water to hashtag hydrate this cactus. When I wake up in the morning, I'm usually very dry and very thirsty and I feel like if I don't do this, I'm just going to shrivel out of existence. I never check my phone in bed because that seems like an extremely good way to waste time and delay just about every other aspect of my day. After that, I get up and make my way over to the bathroom where I... You know, then I wash my face using this Seraphil face wash cleanser thingy because my girlfriend said it's the best one out there. After washing my face, I dab it down with a special face towel because my girlfriend said it was a good idea. And then I head to the kitchen to make some breakfast and coffee. I've been making the same breakfast every single day for most of my adult life. And so by now I've become an absolute master of efficiency in this process. It always involves some combination of two eggs and toast. And today I've decided to go for tomatoes and salami slices with some fresh, very, very crunchy and almost burned toast. Regarding coffee, turn on the coffee machine and make myself a Nescafe Dolce Gusto Cappuccino because this is my first coffee of the day and it needs to be pretty chill before I switch over to black coffee for every other cup of the day. This coffee is hashtag not sponsored, but also hashtag tell your people to call my people and maybe we can figure something out. With the two most important sources of life in my hands, my breakfast and my coffee, I head to my desk for my favorite and most cherished part of the day, my YouTube time. This is where I get to sit down at my desk, think of absolutely nothing, sip my coffee and just catch up on some videos from some of my favorite creators. After that, I decide it's time to pull out my phone and I check my social media in the following order, Twitter and then Instagram, and then reply to any messages that need my immediate attention on WhatsApp or Facebook. I purposefully follow a very small number of people on my social media accounts and that way whenever I check my phone, I have very few updates to go through. As a result, checking my phone in the morning only takes me about 5 minutes and then I can move on to other more important things in my day. At this point, I'm done with my food and I've got about half of my coffee left, so I open up my email and check out the latest news report from The Morning Brew, who are kindly sponsoring this video. Morning Brew is a free email newsletter that delivers up-to-date business news in just 5 minutes every Monday to Saturday. Their writing style is actually funny and includes plenty of images and GIFs, which means staying up-to-date on my favorite tech and business news is actually kind of fun. Every now and again, I'll find myself giggling at one of their jokes or puns. I mean, whoever's writing these articles is doing a seriously great job. I'm finding their COVID-19 update it's particularly useful, as well as just learning at least one new thing per day thanks to their wide coverage of topics, whether that's about cryptocurrency, space, or giant tech companies. Morning Brew has personally helped me stop spending too much time uselessly scrolling on my phone with my morning coffee and instead helps me be more informed and educated about the world around me. If you're interested in business, finance, or tech, there's no reason not to sign up, it takes 15 seconds, and is completely free. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can subscribe to Morning Brew today. This is about the time where I call Alexia and we have our morning catch up before our busy days get started. We just update each other about what we've been up to last night, our plans for today, and have random conversations about life in general. By this point, I realize I'm running pretty late, so I dash to the kitchen to leave my dishes for future me when I return to the hospital. I also remember that my hair is a mess and that definitely needs to be sorted out. Because my hair is about as thick as a peach, I need to douse it in water, dry it until it's damp, and then comb it with a comb. I use this hair product thingy that you're looking at right now because it does a good job of holding up my hair, and then run my fingers through my hair as if I'm in a movie. After spraying on some Dio and applying some cologne, I need to go get dressed. I open the closet and literally whatever t-shirt my eyes see first is what I choose and then I just find matching trousers, jacket and shoes to go with it. Today I'm just going in for a tutorial so I'm going to dress in something more casual. In order to pack my bag, I take everything I need off the shelf, stethoscope, eyewear, FFP3 mask, notepad and pen and just chuck it in my backpack. I sling it over my shoulder and make my way out the door for a satisfying day of clinical placement, taking patient histories, performing clinical exams and getting absolutely absolutely grilled by my consultant. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me in the future. If you want to see more videos like this, I'll leave them on screen now so you can click away and have fun watching that. Otherwise, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.